All right, so hi guys, this is Jackie from TechJackie.com. We're coming to the video on SEO. First of all, if you're brand new to this channel, make sure to press the subscribe button down below. So when I release a new SEO video like this, you get notified. All right. So in today's video, I'd like to discuss about one local SEO hack that will essentially help increase your local SEO ranking with the help of CID. I know many of you have heard about you know CID and you know, all the you know all the buzz around it, so there's you no know, linking to it and and um and etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you each and everything you need to know about what is the GMB CID, how linking to it uh, will actually help increase your local ranking, and how to basically find your CID for of your GMB, create a CID URL and ultimately how to link to it properly. So without further ado, let's dive right into the details. All right, so first of all, um, you have heard, you know, like you have to link to your CID, you have to find your CID, but what is actually your GMB CID? So GMB uh, CID here actually stands for Cluster Document Identifier. All right, so it is actually the way that Google use to you know to classify your local entities right using a set of specific uh, unique numbers so you know let's say google goes around the web and you know it starts um, finding your different entities associated with your uh, business right associated with your um with your website so just your nap address uh, your nap details right your links etc cetera, etc cetera. so what it does here is it goes and browses around the web and it collects all this information and then it assigns to it and you know and then it collects into you know one what do you say one collections of entities and then this entities is being referred or being connected to your website or to your gmbs via a special cid numbers right so um if i want to kind of show you in representation of this so it would be like you know um so it would be like these are all your um, so let me kind of draw it better. So let's say, you know, this is the tables, right? That contains all of your um, web entities, right? So inside here, you know, it has like, you know, different information, right? And then all of these are actually kind of linked to your CID here. So CID. So your entire local entities are referred to your unique CID number, right? So, you know, and that is why linking to your CID URL will help make the process easier for Google, right? Because if you go ahead and, you know, let's say, um, start, you know, pumping out your NAP information and making it consistent and, and um, all, all of those, what happened here is, you know, Google will first have to uh, collect those documents it has to, you know, uh, parse it and then it has to assign to your CIDs. But if you're directly linking to your CIDs, what you're do essentially doing here is you're making it easier for Google, right? So you're essentially helping uh, signing it directly instead of, you know, letting Google do the job. So this helps make the process easier for Google and therefore it increased the likelihood of your local ranking as well, right? Now let's dive into you know how to actually find the CID of your GMB and link to it as well. So first, um, there's actually an easier way to do it, right? Like there are two ways for this manual way, and the second one is using a Chrome extension called call Gather Up Google Review Link Generator, right? So it's a free Chrome extension. You can go ahead and you know install it. Once you've installed it, you can essentially you know go to any of your gmb listing so let's say you know um i take like um for instance my my business name right so i type in my business name and this is my google my business so what i do here is i just go to the to the extension here and just click on it it will generate me right um two links and this is your essentially your gmb cid url right so your your map cid url so just go ahead and copy it and if you paste on it, you will see that this is essentially your CID URL. This is a more, it is, um, this is an easier way, right? I, I recommend you do this. It's much faster and much more accurate than, you know, doing it, um, what do you say, uh, manually. Now, 
how to essentially link to it um, is uh, is also not that important, but it, it can also help, right? So what you want to do here is you want to either link using your exact keyword, right, in the body of the content on the strongest page of your website. So essentially, what you want to do here is you want to find the strongest page on your website. Essentially, it would be your home page. Strongest page page here means you know fully optimized page, you know, and the page which has maximum number of links pointing to it. Select that page. Um, you know, you uh, like enter at least one exact keyword of the keyword you want to rank for in the body of the content. Highlight it, hyper and hyperlink it um, using the CID URL that you've just copied or generated, right? Or you can you know link using your brand slash address um, as a anchor text, right? As an anchor text. So another way you can do here is you can link um, to your CID URL using either your brand name or your address as an anchor text. So this essentially helps uh, connect your brand entities and your address with your brand um, easier for Google, right? Then. Uh, other than this, right, um, besides, you know, just linking on your own website, you would also want to link to a CIDs wherever you can generate um, backlinks back to your website, right? So this could either be web 2.0s, right, where you link back to your website, press release, right? Most of the press release nowadays also allows you to, you know, embed um, CID URL as well, so you can definitely go with it. What else here? Um, maybe, you know, if you're doing some, you know, um, geo map embedding in a PBN, right? So you would also want to link to your GMBs um, directly using the CID URL here as well. So this essentially helps power up your entities, your local entities, and will essentially help boost your, um, your GMB rankings. And that's all for it for this quick and short tutorials. Hope you find this video valuable. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and try to answer them as soon as possible. That's all for it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.